Um, so for a quick tour of the boat, it's not a very big boat obviously, only 13 feet. Um, it has 35 horsepower Johnson long shaft. Um, the previous owner had modified a large aluminum plate to fill in the notch in the older style boat. Um, but I've already actually removed that. I'll show that later um, if there's interest. My plan is to fill all the holes that had been made by the, I guess, previous owner to install the plate. And then hopefully to remove the midsection of this shaft and return this motor or make it a short shaft. I don't think 35s of this nature were normally made in a short shaft. It would have been like an order. And so these were probably mostly stuff that was stock. Um, so these aluminum plates here were installed again to help support that plate. Um, there's my hole number is 25979. Uh, yeah, I haven't, con I've, apparently you can contact Boston Wheeler and find out about that, but uh, I haven't done that yet. Again, you can see where the previous reinforcements have been made with through bolts and washers and like epoxy putty and stuff. Um, I've already disconnected the steering and controls to the motor. Um, yeah, the battery box it was never attached. It was always just floating around as far as I can tell. Um, the seats need a good staining, but the wood appears to be quite nice and good shape. A little bit of cracking on the console, but I think she's uh, definitely fixable. Um, that there is the hatch for it the front. Just get that back in there so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, and these are the pals that came with it. They're, uh, they're pretty ratty. I already have new paddles. Yeah, so I'm actually, uh, there's no instrumentation at all. But I'd really like to try and get a tachometer or something. Just to keep an eye on things. Maybe a VHF, if I can tuck it under the console here. And I like the vertical steering wheel. It's kind of old school. Um, yeah, the hull itself has quite a bit of cracking and stuff. The old rub rail had been like glued on with Gorilla Glue or something. You can see this boat originally had uh, like a cable steering. That's what these screws would have been for, the pulleys. Um, yeah, it looks like at some point it got bottom paint too. But that uh, is coming off was done or done poorly, I'm not sure. There are some cracks. I did drill a couple holes um, in the fall just in case. Uh, there was any water in the hall, but I didn't see anything at all. So it's been like that over winter and now part of the, well, the spring and now part of the summer. So I think I'm okay to start fixing. Um, I yanked the drain tube out and there doesn't seem to be any rot inside. The wood seems, well, it feels like wood. And yeah, I guess you shouldn't see that, but the trailer is not perfect for the boat right now, but it's, it lives on it right now, so there's not much I can do. Yeah, it's been a grimy with some chips in the gel coat. Like that. A lot of spider cracking. Um, inside, there's a lot of spider cracking inside too. And, uh... Yeah, it looks like at some point someone put an auxiliary motor on here and just kind of squeezed the crap out of the transom. Um, yeah, one thing, just with the previous owner doing this and the heavier, newer style motor, I might think about me reinforcing the back part of the transom a bit, just to peace of mind. I don't like the way this looks. I'm sure it's very strong, but yeah, I think I might take some gel coat off and Lay in some fiberglass. It's something I still have to learn how to do, but and obviously the Norman pins were all wallowed out. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be the Redstone Rocket.